Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. First of all, I'd like to thank you all my clients' constructive feedback from every details they have shared with me. I'm really happy and appreciate all the feedback given to me. This really drives me to do even better and a positive strength for me to continue to do these videos so that I can help everyone with a better insight on how our property market is. So please share this video to anyone who you feel they will need it or useful to them. Thank you. Uh, Besides that, some customers also advise me to add in some pictures or chart for the analysts so that today I will try it out to add in some charts into this video rather than just seeing my uh, boring face here. So please give me a feedback as well. And today I'm here again at the outdoor in my estate Bedok to have another different background for the video. So hope you like it. And also, I, I want to thank you to a special customer who have pointed out that I do not have a conclusion for my past videos. It's usually just uh, informative, uh, like whether is it a crisis or opportunity for you. So instead of saying you decide, probably I can share more on a directive approach and my thoughts like how can we create opportunity from the crisis. Because today, there are too many concerns from the current situation, especially with a few days ago, the stock market crashed again, come down another 180 points downwards. So this is real, see? So which is very normal for people will start to think, is this the best time to buy property now? Or shall we wait, see? And the virus is a global pandemic now, and we are facing a new wave of uh, infection from the West, Italy, Spain, and US. So is it safe to buy a property now? Cause being say so, I'm sure and definitely agree that this virus is creating an impact to our life. No doubt about it. And we should be careful about it. The true fact is everybody is fearful and everybody is very worried and very concerned may affect jobs and even job loss. And that will be loss of income. So with all these things that are just happening so fast, besides just staying safe for our health, how can we protect our hard-earned saving as well? So, first of all, let's take a look at people who bought property during the crisis period. And in fact, actually most people make the most out of it during the crisis period. And a lot of people usually choose not to do so. Why? Very simple. Because people are worried that the prices will go down. So there's a chart here today that I wanted to show you and uh, why this chart will show every crisis there is an opportunity. So take a look at the people who actually bought a property during the 2003 SARS period. From the period they bought actually the price went up 115%. What do I mean by that? That means if a person bought a property at $600 per square foot, which means their property actually appreciate to $1,200 per square foot. $600 per square foot difference. If anybody had taken action at that time, they actually will make the most out of it. Next. 2007 swine flu and the global financial crisis. Same thing here. If those people bought during this downturn, the price actually went up by 88%. Thereafter, the cooling measure in 2013, same thing also. So what will be the next question is, when is the right time to buy, right? Yes, timing is important for property cycle, for those who can buy today. Cause the virus and the stock market can be an opportunity too, ma. right? So, but the important thing is what? We, we did our financial plan and done enough research. Cause the rich always become richer because they know how to buy during the crisis. So let's take a look today with the low interest rate environment now. Another chart here, the effective cyber rate is 1.3% range. 
So is this the time you can take this opportunity to leverage on the low interest rate environment and start your property with a form of saving? Because you see, everything is so nice. When the stock market crashed until like that, the interest rate also dropped until like that. So for those very happy, you know, that I haven't taken my loan yet, good news, I have a low interest rate. Those who have already have can refinance. But the important thing is what? Is you start to save in your assets. Force yourself to save. Because when you do so, you're already making sure your money is there. Why is this so? Because by the end of the year, by the end of the number of years you own this property, I can tell you, you have a huge saving. Because I have a customer who own a property and when they sell it away with their rental returns and everything, uh, it's already crossed a million dollars. And that is wonderful. So no other instruments can give you this kind of saving uh, that is so secure. So the only way is what? Save. So please start saving and please PM me if you have other questions that you wish to know more. So this comes to the end of my video. And if you like uh, this type of topics, like how to determine the right pricing asset, or how can we create a saving account with properties? I would love to share with you more in details. So as always, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts about this video. So I will see you in the next video. And stay safe. Take care.